everyone, it's Mrs. Teal here, and in this video I'm going to try something I've actually never done before. I'm going to try using epoxy resin and mica powder mixed together in some resin molds. I've never used resin molds before, but I'm going to have a lot of fun with this and you can watch my journey with me. So the products I'm using here are from Hippie Crafter. They sell a really great epoxy resin kit with a wonderful instruction book that tells you all about how to use epoxy resin. Epoxy resin comes in two parts and you mix them together to get them to activate. Um, the mica powder has 24 different colors that come in this kit and like I said I have never used mica powder before but you just mix this in with your epoxy resin and you get this vibrant color that's also very shimmery. So this is going to be great for some jewelry making, uh, maybe I'll even create a bookmark because these resin molds from Hippie Crafter have some really cool shapes, bookmark, some great molds for making some jewelry like pendants or earrings, and you could even create things like coasters or little trinket trays or things like that. So I can't wait to get started. I hope you're excited to watch how this goes. All right, I'm ready to go now. As you can see, I am set up with a cardboard piece underneath my works materials. This is so that if I spill, I am not going to damage a table. I have some cups to be able to mix some of the resin with the mica powder. And then I also have my epoxy hardener and resin, some popsicle sticks to stir with, and I have a cup that I'm going to mix my hardener and resin into. And that's what I'm going to do first here. As you can see, I've made some marks on this cup. I have figured out using water that this is equal in volume to this amount of space in this cup. So I'm going to fill the cup to this line with hardener, and then I'm going to add in the resin on top, filling up to this line. That is my hardener and again you want to put the hardener in first and now I'm going to put in the epoxy resin and I need to fill it to the line that I marked. Okay now I'm going to be stirring this mixture up slowly for three minutes. For anyone who has never used epoxy resin before, a few things to know are uh, you want to work in a very well ventilated area. So I have windows open right now. It's really important because there are some strong fumes and you don't want to breathe those in. Also, you want to be careful not to get this on your fingers. Uh, wearing gloves would be suggested and highly recommended. I couldn't find any handy. I am also being very careful not to touch the epoxy resin, but even if you're careful, sometimes things do happen. Uh, finally, when you're stirring, make sure that you are scraping the sides of your cup. You could also pour the resin into another cup and continue to stir for an additional three minutes if you want to. But in this case, I'm actually going to be pouring some of my resin into some separate cups so that I can add in some mica powder before pouring into my molds. So I am pouring this into five cups because I'm going to use five different colors and I'm trying not to spill but remember I do have some disposable cardboard down underneath these cups that I can just throw away when this project is complete. I'm going to begin adding in my mica powders now. The first color I'm going to use is this one here called graphite. Look at that. I'm going to put just two scoops in here and then stir it up. Look, it starts to look like a liquid metal. How cool is that? So 
So I'm going to mix two little scoops using my popsicle sticks and I'll use a clean stick for each color. I'm going to mix five different colors up using these cups here. I'm going to just set these a bit aside and now pull out my molds. So uh, like I said, I have never done this before, but look, these molds have a little spot so that if you do want to make jewelry out of it, you have places that you can put um, a jump ring or a string through. So I'm going to try creating some cool looking pendants here. All right, I'm going to try pouring this in. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to just this Start with a little bit of black okay and I'm gonna add in a little bit of this pink as well and let's see what happens there when they mix I'm gonna try dragging some of this up in here, like so. Let's see what happens. Remember, I have not tried this before. This is all an experiment, and if you're watching, you are along for the ride with me. But again, I'm using Hippie Crafters epoxy resin, mica powders, and molds, and I am really excited to see how these turn out. All right, that seems to seems to be good. Maybe I could fit a little bit more in, but I don't know that I want to chance it. There we go. Okay. I'm going to speed this up and fill up the rest of these molds here. So I'm finding that I think working on the pendants is maybe the hardest thing to do in a mold because they're so tiny. I'm going to try a big circle here and I'm going to see maybe this could become a really cool coaster. So I'm just going to try pouring in some different colors in layers and we'll see what happens. Something else that I'm going to do when I'm done pouring these in is use a blowtorch to get out the air bubbles. I'm going to do that to the jewelry pieces as well. Ooh, just love all these colors. One more thing I'm going to try with this one is to put in a couple tiny drops of silicone oil. You'll see what happens, assuming it works, once I get these poured in. Okay, so here's my silicone oil. It's actually a treadmill belt lubricant. And I'm just gonna put in a couple tiny drops. And you'll see what happens. I'm gonna flip to the other side of my toothpick and These really cool blooms. A couple more. All right. Well, I'm just gonna torch these and then let them sit. A quick blow from the torch will just help get out those air bubbles. And I'll just do that a couple of times. 
After letting the resin sit for just a couple of minutes, I am just taking a toothpick and swirling some of that resin around. I really like the way it looks on the surface. The bookmark, I think, is a super cool mold to create, but it's so thin, I really struggled with not having it overflow. This little coaster or trinket tray mold was also very fun to fill, and I added a little bit of the silicone oil to that as well as marbleized it with the toothpick. Something really quick that has worked awesome for me is coming back in once the epoxy has had about 20 minutes to cure with a little stick and just marbleizing some more. All right, so I finished my experiments using Hippie Crafters mica powder with their epoxy resin in their resin molds, and I'm just gonna wait and see what happens now. I'm gonna let these set up to cure for about 24 to 48 hours, and then I will peel them out of the resin molds. Okay, but really the very next day, which was under 24 hours later, I was too excited and had to try peeling them out of their molds, and guess what? I was able to take them out and it was fine. So uh, this resin does cure quite quickly and I think overall everything turned out pretty well. Um, kind of what I expected. I learned some things through this process. I definitely learned that I I enjoy the end result of the bookmark and these jewelry pieces the most. I think they're going to be very usable. I can't wait to work with them and, you know, create some kind of necklace or um, keychain with these pieces. Uh, some of the the other things that I created, I, I have learned that if you're trying to marbleize the color, you've got to really get that toothpick or tool down in there because I was just marbleizing the surface and the resin that was closer to the bottom of the mold wasn't moving around. So I kind of ended up with just some splotchy colors there. But overall, this was a really fun experiment. I am excited to work with resin more in this way. In the past, I had only used epoxy resin to add a clear coat to my artwork. Overall, I think that these are great products. I'm excited to try even more with them. And hopefully I will have more information to share with you on how I worked with these products again in the future. Thanks for watching.